Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about open source monetization and a new company that's just released their white paper. First of all, open source monetization is notoriously difficult. So far, we've only had sponsorships and kind of like bounty concepts where you would pay for uh, reporting a bug and having that fixed or a certain specific feature. Well, T, that's the company behind the new protocol, is has a different approach. It's a package manager that redistributes economic value to dependencies of that particular package. So it's doing that by leveraging Web3. So it's got a blockchain, an NFT, a non-fungible token, and of course their own cryptocurrency, a T-token involved. Um, like I said, the white paper's been out for roughly a week and let's dive in and find out what it's all about. All right, so the white paper is up on GitHub and it's obviously an open source Creative Commons license. Um, it's written in, in Markdown, but you can go ahead and download it right here uh, as a PDF <clears throat> or you go to the website and, and find it there. I'll go quickly through what the, the protocol sets out to do and what the proposal is. So it's a decentralized protocol for remunerating the open source ecosystem and <clears throat> the key facts i mean i mentioned how difficult and notorious it is to to get open source uh, sponsorships and monetization that it's very uh, unevenly distributed only the top developers or top projects really get sponsorships so there's this like inequality built in uh, t is trying to resolve this uh, it has four key components, right? The package manager, it's got the decentralized registry, and it's got the storage system, and they're all laid out here. So the registry is kind of like your package manager, uh, It's except that it's immutable and distributed. So the package manager performs similar to how you would imagine MTM or brew to function, and the storage system is where you upload it. Uh, the source code, uh, the compiled package, and whatnot. There's the maintainer, there's the package user, supporters, and testers. These are the um, participants in this network. And of course, there's a rewards engine built in. Um, otherwise, how else are you going to redistribute the economic value? Um, let's the pack the participants, as I mentioned, maintainers, uh, kind of like the core participant, right? That's the person who's submitting package submissions uh, and releases. Uh, they're always tagged, and whenever you submit something, you receive an NFT. This is super important because all that economic value is tied to the NFT. The package user, that's most of the people, right? Similar users of open source, uh, just developers that want to use this open source package. And then <clears throat> you have supporters and sponsors, and these could be individuals, uh, or companies similar to how they're currently using GitHub sponsors, but they would back individual packages instead of instead of developers. So this the the key differentiator I would say also to sponsorships that is not tied to a particular person. They receive also an NFT that's kind of like premium support. And you've got tea tasters. So these are the reviewers, right? The ones that that help um, prove the legitimacy of a um, a package. So they have a very, very special function in this network. Um, they kind of steep their tea. That means they bet on a particular review on, that they do of a project. They bet money. So let's say they steep 10 T tokens or 100 T tokens. Uh, the more they steep, the more they believe in this review, right? This could be a positive or negative review. Very important. Um, they earn. Um, reward in terms of economic value and also reputation, um, just as the package ma maintainer earns also reputation through submissions and bug fixes and so on. Protocol is also very straightforward. Well, not very straightforward, but it's leaned on kind of like a proof of stake um, system. It's got a package submissions. That's what you expect of a normal package manager, right? Um, and 
the neat thing is about this pack maintain NFT is you can transfer it to any other third party and then they will reap the economic value from that NFT. So the economic value is tied to the maintainer NFT. However, the reputation of a maintainer is not tied to the NFT. So that remains always with the um, maintainer. You've got the dependency analysis. They only go first level, right? Let's say this package, uh, which is the a dependency of package A, is also registered. So they have all the tree already of this and they can return the rewards and whatever rewards flow to package B as a dependency of package A will also flow over to their dependencies of package B. Um, one important aspect is if a maintainer does not comply or is slow to fix something or uploads a buggy release, um, the maintainers steeped tokens, right? The maintainer also steeps their tokens. Uh, they can be slashed. So, um, you know, they reflect, say, because of lack of due diligence, basically, if they don't fulfill kind of like the basic needs of what a, a great package should look like. Reputation I touched upon already. Uh, it's all done through this whole steeping mechanism. And yeah. There's going to be 10 billion um, as an initial supply, 10 billion of T tokens. And you also want to kind of incentivize creativity um, with introducing kind of like the steeping mechanism and hoping that other people either upgrade um, old legacy applications that rely on legacy system or legacy versions. Um, or even create new versions, right? Create a better approach to solving that problem. This can already be transferred. I mentioned this already. The T tokens, a proof of stake system, it's got a uh, kind of like decimal of eight. So the, the smallest denomination is uh, 100 millionth of a T, and it's called a leaf. Uh, very clever. There's uh, two reward mechanisms here. One is called staking and one is steeping. Staking is what you know already of existing proof of stake platforms, right? It's to maintain the network, the integrity of the network, that it's functioning, that um, kind of like contracts get get reviewed um, and passed through the network. And the network exists. Steeping means you invest in your submission in a particular package. You believe in them and you bet on them. You believe in your review if you're a tea taster. And through this, there's a steeping reward that you get by steeping your tokens. Um, it's kind of like investing in yourself. And there's another project called uh, Numerai. It's a decentralized hedge fund. And they're doing a very similar thing, but uh, with uh, projections. The whole math, I'm not going to bore you. Um, they worked out some really clever thing where kind of like they have a a interest rate function that is twofold. So once they have this ideal steeping ratio, right? Um, in, the, in, in the initial phases of T, there will be close to zero, right? Like very few projects will be submitted. So very few T tokens will be steeped compared to their entire supply. And as it approaches the ideal ratio, whatever that might be, um, this is kind of like the reward function. Uh, it's linearly growing. And as it kind of like exceeds that ideal ratio, it is decaying at an exponential rate. Uh, that's why there's like the two to the exponential here. And as I said, negative reviews, everything like that. Tokens can keep steep tokens can also be taken away if you don't comply. Uh, they can be slashed. And it's a very elegant mechanism that they took also or took inspiration from Polkadot. The government governance will happen in also on chain. So there will be a T DAO um, where all the T holder token holders will be invited and they can also vote based on their ownership and reputation. And then of course they have ideas for future um, work that can be either done by T or the community. So this is also very clever, and I'll go into this and a much more detail than I did to 
not just now in my other video which is i'm linking above i think somewhere here and or yeah all the way up here and instead of the long form video i've decided to host a youtube live next week where i go into much more detail about the t protocol the white paper and what it all means for open source so i hope i can answer some questions in that live as well um yeah so thanks so much for listening in and this is t and their proposal for the t network i'm really excited about this and hope you are too um that's a real win for the open source uh ecosystem yeah thanks so much for listening in and catch you next week